Hello, Gary Kiesler here with Banjo Repository Part 2, where we basically take banjo instrumentals, uh, list them off in alphabetical order so that people who, who, who have heard banjo music but don't know the names of the songs, or people who have heard songs and don't know the names of the songs, or people who just want to listen to some, some of the songs to see what they want to learn, uh, can have a resource to do that. I hope other people will add to these repositories, make them, I'm planning on doing one more, and so Banjo, Banjo Repository 4 would be open from then on, or even search your new name and, and do the whole list that I've done, plus others other would know. I'm probably going to only touch on about maybe, you know, half of all the banjo instrumentals, or probably even less, probably a third. And I know I, I'm not doing any of Bell Flex instrumentals, and he's, he has quite a few, so maybe I'm only doing like a tenth of the banjo instruments. But there are a lot of songs, too, where they sing as vocals, like Rider or... Uh, um, the Rocky Top, something like that, that make the nice breaks, but they're not truly banjo instrumentals. And I have included a couple songs like Martha White that um, are actually songs they would sing, but uh, I'm doing it as an instrumental because I don't want to lose those songs out of the historical documentation for banjo. So here are the songs we're going to do today. This is like the third time I started this. I just can't seem to be playing well today. If so, if I make up, mess up, I might just keep going and let you suffer the consequences. Uh, start with Halloween and we'll go down to, I think, Pick Away. So those are the songs. I'm going to do all my D songs in one section, even though they'll be out of order. Um, uh, as far as alphabetically, at least you'll know that these are all songs that are in the D tuning, because I'm not going to be tuning up and down. I have too much trouble doing that with my banjo. Something's going on here. Lord, it's a light thing. Uh, Ridiculous. All right, so what can I say? There we go. You can see that, so now I'm going to slide forward. All right, there, chop my hair off again. There we go. All right, we got her now, I think. You can see the, see the banjo. It was first song. years and 47 years has been out of tune so moving on from there we're do, drop your B string down one one fret so you tune to the fourth fret on the second string to the bottom string open you a G minor G modal I don't know what they call it anymore so anyway this is called Halloween did it and uh, and then is that seeable I have a hard time seeing it on the screen <laughs> I don't know if it's me or the sunlight coming I probably shouldn't have chosen this place uh, so anyway the D songs I know are Hard Times John Henry Green Mountain Hop Reuben and Top Hat Ramble so you won't see Top Hat Ramble on the next page I'll mention it as we go by so um, Hard Times <laughs>
Get shy as um, E mountain hop. Sometimes I have the tuning difficulty with that. Um, green mountain hop. Actually, I think I skipped over John Henry. The John Henry. choking on this so this might be a little rough. I don't play it very often. that ramble if I can remember this guy. That's good. I'm happy. Uh -oh. so my tuners have slipped. Sound good? It's like G. I'll take it. The next song uh, is, unless it's helped me make it through the night, I don't play it. 
So, but I like it, and I put it on the list for people who might be looking for it. I think another one I forgot that is is on here is um, I got Salt Creek. Maybe I don't. Yeah, there he is. Um, another song I missed. I don't know. Was um, Turkey Knob? No. What's the other one like Turkey Knob? Anyway, there's a couple songs I know that I missed. And I I remember my Randy Lynn Rag is one that I don't have one here. So I'm not going to change the list now. But uh, so I'll just go with what I got here. But the next one is uh, Hickory Hollow. The Dillards played that on some of the Andy Griffith show. I think they played it in C. It really sounds fast if you play it in C. I'm just going to play it in G and play it fast. So, but it's a nice song. And uh, I think you'll like it. A squirrel is looking at me right through, right, right on the fence post. I wish I could get a picture of that. That's kind of strange. What are you doing? You like bluegrass? Squirrel likes bluegrass. That's great. You're one of us. tuners you can capo up to A and you can play it in the same C formation it's like you're playing a C chord and uh, and so just move it up two frets you can play along with someone in D without having to if you don't have D tuners you probably know that already home sweet home song great song and uh i won't play it very well my apologies but it's a hot burrito breakdown So, probably won't 
do it very well, I don't think. So. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, it's rough. schedule and go to the next um oh it's a set that's uh good go to the next song an easier tune sounds good enough it's uh, john hardy 
standard bluegrass tune and uh, played in G. <laughs> songs is three songs that all use the same common run so you get that and it's a walk up run maybe we can walk that up the neck anyway um it's uh the three i'm gonna do together is an old one called heel and toe polka it's on bill, bill, bill monroe's um Uncle Penn album, and uh, you never hear anybody play this much, so it's important to, to know that this is an older song. And we follow that with Jordan's Hornpipe and Molly Bloom, just playing right in succession without stopping. So here we go. song called Jordo. Bill was over and played uh, the songs at my house one time. It was a very nice, nice time and uh, it's very good on the computer also. All right, so uh, this is kind of a kind of a jazz tune um, that I like of his. Sorry again.
Jordo, J-O-R-D-U. Uh, next song is Jubilee. It's a Dillard's tune. See.
house, uh, that was Lion House, was Little Big Horn. something like that. Uh
12 times and I never got it right once. Anyway, I don't think that's what I wanted, but that was supposed to be Lonesome Fiddle Blues. Lonesome Road Blues, I think I can do that a little better. all you get. It's hard doing this kind of when you're just trying to, you don't have a bass or anything. Lost Indian. Lost Indian. instrumental and I don't, don't want to see it pass away so just to keep the little little melody alive it's kind of nice <laughs> I think the course is easier to get and then I'll, I'll carry on from there if I remember the melody.
Um, slow it down a little bit with Music Box Dancer. Let's see. Let's bar it. So I just kind of figured out something that sounds like No Title Yet Blues by Eric Weisberg. It's part of the original Dueling Banjos album, um, which I have, but uh, um, you can probably still get it on CD. 
So um, a new kind of blues one. It's played in G. This is kind of what it sounds like, except it sounds better when it's tuned the other way. So but it goes like this, or something like this. tuning they use for that is. Now the next song is a song that's done on the Uncle Penn album and Bobby Thompson plays a banjo on it and it's called The Old Gray Mare Came Tearing Out of the Wilderness and that song is based upon the old song The Old Gray Mare and it's got a little fancier second part to it but if you know the old song The Old Gray Mare She Ain't What She Used to Be She Ain't What She Used to Be She Ain't What She Used to Be many long years ago then the first part is that but I tied in with Camptown Races just put the similar Kind of together, they sound good. So you hear, you'll hear the old gray mare came tearing out of the wilderness first, and Camptown races after that. And I'll keep it short on both of them. So. <laughs> Thank you. 
song is Opus 57 in G minor, which is normally capable up to the third fret. I'll just play it down here because it's kind of tight up there. It's a fairly fast song. Opus 57 in G minor. Sure. Mine. 